They watch absolute basketball. So you returned three of your top five scores from last season. Talk about Jericho Helms. You know, he's your leading guy last year, 12.9 per game. What are your expectations for him this season? Jamie, he had a great year. Um, he's the way college basketball should go. You know, as a freshman, you know, just okay, earned playing time. Sophomore, take a big step. And then last year, he took a huge step. Um, you know, we're, we're going to count on him for a lot. You know, when we lost Devin Daniels last year, I didn't know who could step up and accept that role, and it was Jericho Ellums. Um, he's been special for us. He's, he's one of the hardest working guys we got. And when you got your best players who love the gym and love the weight room and compete every day, I think everybody will follow. Uh, I love the team that we got coming back. Um, can't say enough about the development of Manny Bates and, you know, how he's become. Everybody knows him as a tremendous shot blocker, but how he's become more offensive minded where we can now throw the ball inside to him and have a chance to be, you know, really good on the offensive end along the, with his defense. And then Cam Hayes is, um, he's a special young man um, in everything that he does. Um, you've been, you've had a chance to follow him, Jamie. Um, just tremendous off the court, tremendous in the classroom. And had a really, really special freshman campaign for us. And we think he'll take a huge step as a sophomore. And so I love those three guys and then add in some great pieces that we were able to get in the offseason. Touching back a little bit on Manny Bates, you had some great news this offseason uh, when he decided to take his name out of the portal, return to school. How big of a boost was that for the program? Well, it's funny, Amy, because I never really, if you look at it, I never really commented on anything that was on social media. This is where social media can be a positive and a negative. Mm -hmm. um, to set the record straight, he was never in the portal. Um, he never went into the portal. Manny and I uh, never had a discussion about him actually putting his name in a portal. And when this thing took off, it was like everybody saying, hey, this is happening. Manny's leaving. And um, the one thing I will say about Manny Bates is um, he's always been a loyal kid. Um, he and I have a tremendous relationship. Um, he is um, stuck to getting better. And I think he, at the end of the day, every kid at the end of the season has to look at where their future goes. And I think he realized that this was a great place for him. You mentioned earlier you had to add some new additions to your roster. You have three new freshmen. You have two transfers from the portal. Take me through the process of how you take a look at your roster and decide, do I want to go to a high school kid? Do I want to go JUCO route? Do I want transfers? Like, take me through that process as to how you went through and, and figured that out. Well, Jamie, I wanted a mixture of both. You know, I felt like, you know, losing a Braxton Beverly, who I'm so excited that he get the opportunity to go play for AW and try to put up as many points as he can so he can be a professional. Um, DJ Funderburg, who's also playing well in summer league with the Utah Jazz, and then unfortunately with Devin Daniels' situation. And so I just didn't want all freshmen. Uh, I wanted a mixture. I wanted some guys who could, you know, obviously come in and, and be a bigger voice in the locker room, some guys who could lead some of the young guys. And so I think we hit the jackpot. I, I like, I, I love our transfers. Uh, Casey Morsell, oh, I think he has a chance to be tremendous when you go back to his high school days and you look at his clips, um, you understand that this kid could be really special, uh, very talented, shooting the basketball, um, you know, could step in and fill a void where we lost to Devin Daniels. And then Greg Gant, if we can rekindle uh, what he had in, in high school as a hard playing forward that could play, you know, multiple positions, could guard multiple positions and play with a high energy and motor, then we have something special. Um, so those were the two transfers that I thought we really needed to have. Um, there was two guys that we identified that we paid our And then I love our freshmen. Um, um, we can talk about um, Tequavion for hours. Um, he's just a bucket getter. Uh, the, the young man can score. Um, he's coming off of three state championships. Um, tremendous, really, really good player. Uh, it's going to play a lot as a freshman and has an opportunity to compete for a starting job as we when we recruited him. And then Ernest Ross is long, athletic, um, can play the three and four. A lot of people didn't have a chance to see him because he didn't play last summer, but is as talented as any forward that we can get in the country coming out of Florida. And then I, I the, one of the biggest glue guys that you're going to ever know is Breon Pass. Um, you know, probably not highly ranked as the other guy. He's also one three state championship that just happened to be in football. But 
brings some toughness, um, loves to play, compete, just a solid piece. It's going to be a really good basketball player for us. When you look at those five guys, um, as a coach, I'm so excited, Jamie, because I were, we were able to identify the pieces we need, and my staff did a great job going out recruiting these guys. And in looking at these, you, you touched on it a little bit here. You mentioned the names that you have to replace with Thunderbird and Beverly and stuff. But this talented group you have coming in, what are the expectations, the actual expectations you have this season for the newcomers? Well, we, we, we've set the expectation pretty high. Um, you know, I've had, you know, we've had in the past, we've had several freshmen that come in and be able to start talking about Braxton Beverly, Cam Hayes, and, you know, um, T. Buckets has the same opportunity. Um, but the expectations are high. I mean, we don't shy away from that. I like our team. Now, we're young in areas because they're so new, and we've got at least five new guys. And when you add, a, you know, E.B. DeWan and Jalen Gibson, you've really got seven new guys. Um, but, you know, one of the guys we haven't talked about who had a good back end of the season is Darion Sebron. Mm -hmm. um, he brings a, a different, um, you know, blend of basketball to us. He's a slasher. You know, he can get out of transition and finish um, long. He's athletic. He can rebound. So uh, my biggest challenge is blending the three or four legitimate um, returners, all of these new guys. And it'll be a work in progress. But as we, you know, the more we practice, the more we play, I think you'll see the chemistry will get better. And these guys have a chance to be a really good basketball team. You watch Absolute Basketball.